Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Plants vs. Zombies. Now, before we go continue with our adventure, let's check on our Zen Garden. You can see our plants are thirsty again. So, let's water them and get some more money. You can see I have a little bit more money than I had before. And that's because I played some more of the puzzles. Uh, it's actually kind of tedious, you know. I might just stop doing that because, you know, before I worked my way all the way up to 10,000. And now I can just barely work my way up to several thousand, so... I just wasn't feeling it today. Whatever. We'll have to make do with what we got. Hurry up. Say you're thirsty. There you go. Now, ask for food. Ooh, two gold coins this time. And... So if you were here, give you some food, give me your coins. Alright. Easy money. Now, eventually we'll get more plants, like, you know, those zombies drop plants just like they drop, you know, money and stuff like that. But we've wasted enough time, so let us continue with this adventure. <laughs> now, we were on... Oh, let's restart this level. What is it? Oh, yeah, he's said uh, Zen Garden, pretty nifty, yeah, there's a bunch of zombies. Alright. Here come those idiots now! Yep, those bungee zombies. Those are, I think, the most annoying zombies in the entire game. Not necessarily the most threatening, but definitely the most dangerous. So, God, why did I do that? Alright, so I got cherry bombs. So we're getting some old school stuff, you know? Boom! What a waste of a cherry bomb, though. this guy up. Blow him to kingdom come. Oh, we'll save that pumpkin. And we'll, we'll save the pumpkins for when we need them. Just keep planting those flower pots, you know? So, yes, uh, it is the night of the same day that I uh, recorded the last video. I just came back from going out to dinner with my uh, sister and my brother-in-law. We went to a really good uh, uh, Malaysian restaurant, actually. I think that's what it was. And I'm trying to remember the name of it, but I can't for the life of me. So, so yeah. <laughs> However, um, after noticing that like my commentary for the past uh, couple of videos has been kind of bad, I decided to just Write, a, write all the things, like write little notes to myself on this piece of paper that I have in front of me about things I want to talk about. So, ah, the first one on our list is actually, um, hold on, let me just get these chompers out here. Right. So the first one is actually, uh, remember how a while back I was talking about there was uh, an Alaskan license plate on a car that I saw? Well, uh, shortly after that, like a couple days afterwards, I saw another car with a strange license plate from Quebec. And I'm assuming this is Quebec City in, uh, in France, but, uh, not, not France, but Canada. If it was from France, then I'd assume that they were driving on the right side, like the right-hand side of the vehicle, because that's how things are in France. <sighs> we're not getting any actual, like, weapons, we're just getting pumpkins and chompers, so... I guess that's what we're dealing with in this level. Um, so yeah, that was really weird, and I'm just like, wow, what are the odds that like you know that happens? But anyways, what else? Oh yeah, like all these videos that I've been recording have been uh, taking up a whole bunch of space on my hard drive. Like it's it's crazy. Uh, like, what am I saying? Like, each video that I record, like, in its uncompressed form, since I didn't delete any of, like, the dir Like, what I do is that I record the videos uh, using crafts, and then I, I splice the clips together using Sony Vegas. So, even though, like, I have, you know, two or three, four gigabyte clips that are each, you know... Shoot, 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 shoot. Stay away from... Uh, Oh, wow, that was close. I didn't think that would actually work, but it did. 
But yeah, like I have several four gigabyte clips that are just like raw, uncompressed uh, stuff, and I splice them together in Sony Vegas. And uh oh, uh oh, jeez, look at all these things. We're not. Uh, we're just a little bit over halfway done. Eat him. I should have done this before. But yeah, so the actual videos which I upload onto YouTube are only a couple megabytes large since um, I render them as half size videos. So rather than my full uh, 1920 by 1080, it's uh, half of that. So 960 by 540. That's what it is. Gotta eat faster, man. So yeah, I'm gonna have to start deleting those videos to just make more room in my uh, to make more room from in my hard drive. So, okay, look at this ladder right here. This guy walks over and gets to the next one. And oh dear. What can I do here? Just... Wow, there's... Oh, the cherry bombs blow up the ladders. Anyways, uh... Yes, what else? Oh, yeah, I remember what I was saying before about my uh, computer freezing all the time. Well, something that I've noticed, like, this is just a hypothesis. Uh, something that I've noticed is that it always freezes when I'm doing something that has sound, like I'm playing a game or watching a video or something like that. That's when it freezes. So I was thinking that maybe it has something to do with uh, the sound thingy of my motherboard. So maybe I should get a dedicated sound card instead or uh, convert one of my USB ports into, um, into a sound port. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh, we might have a problem here. Take that up. That there. Well, no problem. But yeah, so I might get a, like a dedicated sound card because every time I record one of these videos, I'm just like afraid that my computer might freeze because there's no real like uh, definite explanation for it. Oh yeah, garlic. Divert zombies into other lanes. So basically, like, um, a zombie takes a single bite out of this this plant and then goes to the lane either right above it or right below it. How it determines that, I don't know. Uh, let's check it out. What have we got here? We got, oh dear, we got these things, the catapult zombies. These things are a problem, as you will soon find out. Um... There's got to be a way to deal with these guys, right? Hmm, guess not. <sighs> and you know what? I don't think a twin sunflower is a good idea for this level. So, what I'll do instead is... is the garlic, since there's no metallic zombies here, the magnet shrooms and the coffee beans won't be very necessary. However... Jalapeno would be useful, as would pumpkin, of course, and squash for or er, potato mines. Yeah, that'll do it. Let's, let's try it out. And the reason I said the twin sunflowers are probably not a good idea is because uh, the plants in the back row are going to be destroyed very easily and I don't know if there's much I can do about that at this point without a certain other plant. So we'll see. Yes, uh, actually the uh, funny thing is is that I, I do have an actual vegetable garden at my house and I do plant 
uh, vegetables in there, or I did in the summer. You know, my grand grandfather helped me with that. So, that was nice. Uh, so he helped me to plant some... And what's funny is that all the plants that we planted in the garden aren't featured in this game. Like, what I mean is, uh... Like, okay, the, the plants that we planted, we had, um... We had tomatoes, and those aren't in this game. There's no tomatoes in this game. We had cucumbers, those aren't in this game. Uh, we had zucchini, and yeah, we had zucchini, that's not in this game. Uh, what else do we have? We have a lemon tree that's growing, and an eggplant. We also have eggplant. Most of the, uh, most of those vegetables have already just reached their end by this point. Uh, meaning that, you know, that they've, yeah, they've given all their uh, edible parts to us and then they just shrivel up and die. And I think that's what happens to these plants, so you just have to replant them later when the season comes again. But th the eggplant is still there. We haven't picked very many eggplants. Oh, and we also have uh, bell peppers. Bell peppers. Those are also not featured in this game. We do have jalapenos in this game, so I guess that's... Alright. I mean, what what's a bell pepper gonna do? Start ringing like a bell, you know? I can come up with something clever like that. And a tomato? Is it gonna, like, do the same thing like the butter does? Like, slow down the zombies? But that, that would be kind of redundant. Oh, please don't eat that. Okay, there we go. Uh, we have an emergency here. Keep planting those flower pots. But yeah. And I actually really liked planting the vegetables and like picking them because those cucumbers that came out were huge. Like, you know, the cucumbers were half the size of my forearm, and the zucchinis were just about as long as my forearm. They're like, you could do some serious damage to someone with that. Like, if you smacked them across the face with it, you could leave a mark. A very large mark. Yes, go butter. You know, maybe next round I should just use the the kernel corns instead of the cabbage. Well, we'll see. We haven't come across any of those uh, those zombies in those car things. I forgot they're called catapult zombies or whatever. But we're building up enough stuff to deal with them. We have plenty of sun. Alright. This is what I like to see. Yeah, we, are, we aren't really getting to see the garlic in action, uh, I'm sorry to say. I guess I can show you how it works if I do it right here. If I want to keep people away from a certain lane that has uh, lesser protection, I can put this right there. So if I only wanted to fortify rows uh, 1, 3, and 5, then I could just put garlic right here. So when he bites it, <laughs> he makes that disgusted sound, and they go to another row. Now usually I have enough- oh my god, nah. So you can see this thing is just shooting all the way to the back row, and I think like five hits takes out a- takes out a plant, so... Yeah. Kinda hard to deal with. Yeah. So he took out the sunflower, which is why I didn't invest in the twin sunflowers, because those are really expensive, and I have them in the back row, so... Don't really want that to- want, 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 bleh, Don't really want them to just- disintegrate like that. Hopefully this guy won't run over that. Um, that garlic, yeah, that's good. Come on, take him out, take him out. More kernels. Captain Colonel! Do something, Captain Colonel! Alright, let's see blew up. Sweet. I wonder if the pumpkins can protect them. Doubtful, though. Since they're being attacked from above. But yeah, that's how the garlic works, you know, it just knocks them into another lane. But not really useful in this part of the game since I had... Since I didn't... I'm not dealing with any real problematic zombies. And I did pretty well for the beginning. Uh, more kernel. Blow them up or something? Shoot. Shoot. 
And he broke up. I think those guys always drop money. <laughs> the sound those zombies makes is crazy. You know. Ah, oh, dang it. Yeah, see, pumpkins don't do anything. I shouldn't have planted that right then. Because now he's just taking more damage. That was a foolish move, but I've got some to spare, so it'll be okay. Yeah, blow him up. I guess I should deal with him by using the jalapeno. That would be actually pretty useful. So I'll deal with extra... whatchamacallit. But then eventually the garlic starts to wear out, because every bite that gets taken out of it like wears him out a little bit. So he gets the sadness, and then he starts crying, I think. Oh, okay, so you're gonna do that now. Hate those bungee zombies. There's no way to deal with them at this point. It's just, they're just eating my plants. They're eating my plants, man. I so, say, yeah. This paper is actually kind of helpful to help m help me think of things to talk about. Uh, definitely. There's still a whole bunch of stuff I'm gonna talk about that's still on this paper. But why waste all my good stuff for right now? Oh, thank God. Thank God for these things. These things are essential. Uh, we got the umbrella leaf. It protects nearby plants from bungees and catapults. We will see that in action in the next video, but let's take a look at our almanac. Um, to do more of the plants, I guess? We were at the pumpkin. Hold on. Oh, right, yeah. I ate too much, man. Pumpkin hasn't heard from his cousin Renfield lately. Apparently Renfield's a big star, some kind of... What was it? Sports hero? Peggle master? Pumpkin doesn't really get it. He just does his job. Now, I have a feeling this is some sort of reference that I'm supposed to get, but I don't understand it. I don't know who Renfield is from. Now, if people who do know what Renfield is from, I bet you're probably very upset at me, so let's continue. Magnet Shroom. Magnetism is a powerful force. Very powerful. Sometimes it scares Magnet Shroom a little. He's not sure if he can handle that kind of responsibility. <laughs> I think Magnet, sh Magnet Shroom is the the cutest mushroom there, just because of the way he looks. Anyways, <clears throat> Cabbage Pult. Cabbage Pult is okay with launching cabbages with zombies. It's what he's paid for, after all, and he's good at it. He just doesn't understand how the zombies get up on the roof in the first place. Well, we saw it was that ladder. And the flower pot. I'm a pot for planting, yet I'm also a plant. Had your mind exploded yet? And look at this. He's got like... He actually has a face. I didn't notice that until I saw a close-up of it. We're almost done with the plants here, guys. We just have two more. The next one I think is... Oh, I don't remember what the last one is. I'm not sure. Yes. But we're almost done with this adventure. So... Uh, tune in next time, guys. And we will... Well, we won't finish World 5. Or maybe I will finish, like, all of World 5, make it, like, a big finale. Well, that will be decided at a later time. So, until then...